Adonis, the mortal lover of the goddess Aphrodite, is a figure of great significance in Greek mythology. His story is one of love, tragedy, and beauty, and has captured the imagination of people for centuries. Adonis was said to be the son of King Cinerus of Cyprus and his daughter Mira. He was known for his extraordinary beauty and was widely considered to be the ideal of male beauty in classical antiquity. According to myth, his beauty was so great that it led to a rivalry between the goddesses Aphrodite and Persephone. Both Aphrodite and Persephone fell in love with Adonis, and each sought to claim him as their own. This rivalry between the two goddesses is a central theme in the myth of Adonis, and it ultimately leads to his tragic fate. Aphrodite, the goddess of love and beauty, was passionately in love with Adonis. She was captivated by his beauty and desired to be with him. However, Persephone, the goddess of the underworld, also fell in love with Adonis and sought to claim him for herself. The two goddesses were unable to come to a resolution, and so they turned to Zeus, the king of the gods, to settle the matter. Zeus decreed that Adonis would spend one-third of the year with Aphrodite, one-third of the year with Persephone, and one-third of the year on his own. Despite this arrangement, Aphrodite was consumed by jealousy and could not bear the thought of Adonis being with Persephone. She longed for him to be with her always, and so she tried to keep him by her side as much as possible. Adonis, unaware of the danger he was in, spent his time hunting in the woods. One day, while out hunting, he encountered a ferocious boar. The boar, which was said to have been sent by Ares, the god of war, attacked Adonis and mortally wounded him. Aphrodite, who was watching over Adonis, heard his cries for help and rushed to his side. She tried to save him, but it was too late. Adonis died in her arms, and his blood was said to have turned into the anemone flower. <laughs>